সম্মানিত দর্শক ও শ্রোতা হেলথ চ্যানেল পক্ষ থেকে ওয়েলকাম আসসালামু আলাইকুম আজ আমি হাইপারথাইরয়েডিজম সম্পর্কে সংক্ষিপ্ত আকারে বলার চেষ্টা করব হাইপারথাইরয়েডিজম আর থাইরোটক্সিকোসিস ইন্টারচেঞ্জেবল ওয়ার্ড এলিভেশন অফ এফ টি থ্রি এফ টি ফোর অ্যান্ড থাইরয়েডিস টেবিটি হরমোন এক্সেস সিক্রেশন অ্যান্ড সিনথেসিস অফ থাইরয়েড হরমোন বাই থাইরয়েড all over the world uh, hypothyroidism is born especially Graves disease solitary toxic adenoma toxic multinodal goiter hypothalamus and pituitary control the thyroid gland hypothalamus release the thyrotropin releasing hormone and pituitary gland thyroid distributor hormone stimulate the thyroid gland to produce more T3 T4 for use of peripheral tissue. Some eye sign, bunging of eye. Women 2 to 10 times more likely to be affected the hypothyroidism. Higher risks over the age of 60, higher risks after 6 months of pregnancy and breast disease. Now 1% of the US population. Primary hypothyroidism, breast disease, secondary hypothyroidism, Plumars disease. Primary hypothyroidism, young age, and more nervous symptoms, metabolic manifestation, and eye sign, ectophthalmus, and secondary hypothyroidism, mainly elder, steady course, and less nervous symptom. Uh, dark lymphal sign, Rosenberg, back sign, Jeopardy sign, Mobia sign, bone graphic sign. T work sign. Eye symptom and age distribution from beginning 25 to 35 years is highest 35 to 44 years. Hand tremor, difficult sleeping, hair loss, menstrual problem, swollen eye, weight loss, irregular heart rate, elevated blood pressure, nervousness, feeling hungry. Thyrotoxic ectophthalmus and goiter, the classical trial. Thyrotoxic caused by Graves disease, toxic multinodal goiter, toxic adenoma, stroma ovary, thyroid stimulating, secreting pituitary adenoma, chronic chorionic gonadotropin secreting tumor, iodine overdose, drug induced thyroiditis, subagro thyroiditis. Every year 25 May, Thyroid day. Graph disease 60 to 22 percent. Multinodal goiter 22 to 88, 26.88 percent. And single toxic motive 12.9 percent. Thyroid storm. Thyrotoxicosis FT3, FT4 plus at least CNS manifestation. More than simple fever, tachycardia, congestive heart failure, or combination at least three features around fever, hepatic failure, heart failure, and tachycardia. We need to manage IV fluid dextrose and paracetamol and proponolone one milligram IV to maintain the heart rate to block peripheral conversion. Hydrocortisone 200 milligram IV. UID propyl thyroxine 1 mg per oral. Is the toxic sign of eye. Graves disease. Incidence uh, 0.8 per 1000 in female. More incident, more. In heart, coronotropic and inotropic action is more adipose tissue more catabolic stimulate life lysis bones uh, promote more growth and skeletal development and nervous uh, system more promote the brain development increase the rate of carbohydrate absorption hypothyroidism investigation thyroid stimulating hormone 
3T3, T4, thyroid peroxidase, thyroglobulin antibody and thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin and radioactive iodine uptake with grapes disease toxic antinomum, toxic multidinal culture very high 15 to 25 percent and for management of hypothyroidism medical treatment, radioiodine, radioiodine treatment and surgery Medical treatment, methimazole, propyl thiouracil. After 18 months treatment, uh, it improved. If not improved, radioiodine ablation on the first dose, it will affect 90% improvement. Disfiguring goitered, they are suspected thyroid nodule, they are um, surgery done. And radioiodine ablation is a therapy which radioactive iodine administered to destroy the ablash, ablate the residue of the healthy thyroid tissue after thyroidectomy. Radioiodine particle enter on the thyroid cell after radioiodine ablation cell is dying. All the Graves disease, multinodal goiter, solitary thyroid nodule, first line and this radio iodine ablation. Graves disease, radio iodine ablation is good response. Radioactive iodine 131 used for this. And last of all thyroid surgery and prognosis to maintain uh, hypothyroidism after radio iodine ablation lead to thyroxine replacement and to avoid the high containing thyroid food and monitoring the patient after treatment is essential. Thank you for listening.